Republicans in Idaho are pushing a bill that would allow teachers to cite the Bible as reference book to sci in science classes. No, really. It's according to Raw Story. Uh, the Senate Education Committee has given preliminary approval to a measure introduced by State Senator Cheryl Nuxall that would permit teachers to use the Bible for, quote, reference purposes in classes such as astronomy, biology, and geology. <laughs> really? Ast astronomy. Astronomy. Interesting. So, why is this bill necessary? I mean, especially since in Idaho, uh, teachers are already actually able to highlight uh, biblical allusions in history and literature, which of course makes sense, right? Now, on that question of why do we need this bill? Why is this necessary? What's the point? Well, a Democratic senator already asked all those questions. Um, and Nuttall had responded that, quote, well, we needed to highlight the importance of the Bible. She also said, it is to clarify and make sure teachers know their rights. A lot of teachers are scared to use the Bible. Well, in school, you kind of should be, because it doesn't belong there. <laughs> Especially in science classes. Why are you using the Bible in astronomy? What does it have to do with astronomy, biology, and geology? I mean, there's nothing that we can learn about stars from Bronze Age sheep herders. I'm just saying, I can't think of a thing. And what about biology, right? Are you gonna, you're gonna get your biology advice from the Bible. Well, back then they believed that sickness was caused by evil spirits. What are you gonna get from that? You're not gonna get anything from that. That's ridiculous, all right. Now, of course, um, State Senator Jamie Ward, or Janie Ward Engelking uh, had actually reminded Nuxall that, hey, whoa, you better not pass this. You know why? Because this could give someone else, someone else's holy book, permission to do the same thing, right? They could use the Muslims. They could bring in Sharia law. Do you want Sharia law? This is how you get Sharia law. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She didn't say any of that, but it would be an interesting discussion to have, to be a fly on the wall, right, <laughs> of that conversation. But... That's an argument that's often made. Look, you want to bring religion in school? Well, be prepared to bring them all. Or else it's in violation of the First Amendment, which I could already see this being in violation of the First Amendment, even without bringing in the Sharia law, right? Even without bringing in the Quran. Now, Nupsal responded to this and said, no, 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 that, that, see, that, that doesn't count because the Bible is embedded in American culture. It's embedded. Oh, well, that makes it okay. It's embedded. Hey, it's part of our culture, right? That's because assholes like you forced it into our culture. Forced it to be embedded. Forced it onto our money, like in the 1950s. Forced it in the Pledge of Allegiance to fight the evil socialists or the evil communists back in the 1950s. Oh, no, it's, it's embedded in our culture. No. Not originally. In fact, a lot of the founding fathers were deists. They were religious people, but they said, hey, let's set up a great secular society because, look, we already ran from the King of England, right? And the Puritans before then ran from the King of England because of their religion. They wanted to set up their own kooky religion. <laughs> the whole reason for America existing is for people to try to get the fuck away from religious governments. It's kind of ironic that now we have people that are trying to institute religious governments here, whether it be Christian or, you know, the imaginary, because it's not going to happen, the Sharia takeover, whatever, right? It's just ironic that those same people screaming about Sharia law are the ones that want to install Christian Sharia law. Well, I'm not in favor of any of those things. I would rather stick with secular law because secular law it works, and it's based on facts, logic, and reason. But anyway, now to be fair, this actually isn't quite forcing people to learn the Bible in school, right? See, the way they craft this legislation is actually a little bit trickier. See, Nutzel's bill would actually not require students to study the Bible if they or their parents object, right? 
Now, I'm assuming most people in Idaho believe in the Bible, right? And probably don't see this as an issue. Okay, you want to reference the Bible? That's great. I mean, where they could already reference the Bible was in history and literature, which I think is great. You can do a little compare and contrast, you can look at the parables, etc., etc. That makes sense. But comparing it to a science or a biology book? Come on, man. That makes no sense to me, right? But nonetheless, some parents might see that as an issue, some parents might not, right? And maybe there will be kids out there that are like, no, 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 I, I was raised in a secular household. I'm not a religious person. Why are you making me learn the Bible? I want to learn about science, not biblical stuff, right? If I want to do that, I can go to church, right? Now, the problem with this, right? The problem with this whole thing is that people forget about the desire to conform, right? Now, what, I, what do I mean by that? It's basically trying to fit in with your classmates. Trying to not be cast as the outsider, right? Just to try to fit in and at least not make too much, um, too much noise. <laughs> that's a strange way to put it, but that's the only thing that I can think of. To not get singled out, to not get picked on by the entire class. Because nothing is worse when you're a kid just to get singled out in the class. Well, what do you think this will lead to? It'll, it might lead to that. Oh, little Johnny here doesn't want to learn about the Bible. He's a Satan worshiper. He doesn't believe in Jesus. He's a bad person. Could that play out? Almost certainly that could play out. Then that's the problem. Kids can be singled out and ostracized for their beliefs or lack thereof. Big issue. And that's, of course, aside from the obvious issue. Is that it, is, it essentially equates the Bible to a textbook filled with facts. Well, it's not the same thing. See, the Bible is mythology, it's parables, it's stories, and a little bit of history, right? And it was written hundreds of years after the supposed death of Jesus, translated a whole shitload of times, edited, rewritten, translated again, voted on by a bunch of politicians, need I go on? It's not the word of, it's not the perfect word of God. It's been touched by so many different human hands, it's almost like playing a game of telephone tag. You don't really know. And that's the point. As a textbook, as a learning device, it's not really all that credible. And it should not, under any circumstances, be used to substitute or enhance one. 